We all know that warming up before we practice, play, work out, do any type of athletic activity is important. So I wanted to share a little uh, basic warm up that you can do um, on the range with minimal, no equipment. Uh, let me gear this towards juniors, kids, um, to kind of get the body prepared for practice, prepared for play. You're gonna generally do this before you even put a golf club in your hand, although there's gonna be kind of finished with some speed type swings with the club. Um, and the idea here is just to get the joints moving, get the body moving, get the blood flowing, get the heart pumping, get your body moving dynamically and athletically for the task at hand, which is swinging a golf club. So we'll kind of work our way down. Pretty simple, pretty basic. This doesn't have to be super structured. It doesn't have to be uh, kind of followed in any necessary order. You can do it for, you can run through it a couple of rounds. You can do it once, hit, take a break, do it again, however you kind of want to work it. Again, even the, the movements and the exercises, if there's a certain area that feels tight, stiff, limited, so that uh, the golfer is working on, you spend more time there. Um, the point is just kind of getting the main boxes checked of moving our joints through a full range of motion, getting our muscles firing, um, and moving dynamically, fast and athletically. So we're gonna start from the top down, starting with just working on some mobility. So we're gonna do some neck circles, nice and slow, big range of motion. We'll go maybe five to 10, up to 15, one direction, five to 10, up to 15, the other. Okay, we'll start with some shoulder circles. So starting small, and you do this for about 30 seconds total to a minute, and then just kind of work through a bigger range of motion going forward, and then back to small, and then again backwards, starting small, increase the range of motion, and then work it back down. So we're getting into some trunk rotation. So hand inside the knee, turn and reach up. 10, hand inside the knee, turn and reach up. Ten. Get the lower body firing. So we're gonna do Step back, lunge, reach across. Step back, lunge, reach across. Again, don't have to go super deep, deep is comfortable. Eight to 10 on each side. We'll do some lateral lunging, drive off into a march. Lateral lunge, drive off, do a march, eight to 10. Here, down. 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 So now we're going to start to move a little bit more dynamically. We're going to do a little speed separation drill. So a little coordination here. So we're going to have the upper body move one way, lower move the other way. So it's going to be like this. So you can kind of go slow. Speed it up. You can do that maybe about 30 seconds to a minute. Getting the heart rate up, getting moving upper lower separation dynamically. Um, we can do some jumps. Again, starting to work with more dynamic, more speed. Just a little squat jumps. Stick the landing. Again, maybe eight to 10 there. We can do some rotational jumps, squat, land, load, land, maybe five each way. And you can do all of these, pick one version of each of the jumps. You know, if you want to work more lateral, you can do some single leg. Again, maybe five to 10 each way. The goal here is we're not trying to necessarily build strength, build power, just kind of gradually moving from mobility 
muscle activation to dynamic athletic movement. Last thing we can do is just kind of some swing. So I like to do a little step drill. Um, I'm going to choke down, but normally you can do full thing, full uh, length. So you're going to start out in front, step back, take it back, step forward, swing through. So I'm going to move with some speed here. So there. From the front, I'm not gonna go full speed, but back, take it back. As we're going back, step forward, plant, swing through. So, ramping up speed, starting slow, building that speed. And again, we're just trying to build some speed and athleticism. With that, another variation of that is just the regular, just the one step drill. So, that's two step drill, one step drill is just as you go back, you're stepping forward. Swing. So, again, maybe eight to ten of those. So, kind of summarize all this working some full body mobility, shoulders or neck, shoulders, trunk, hips, getting some muscle firing, especially in the big muscles, some lunge variations, moving dynamically with some jumps, finishing off with some step swing variations to just get some speed and get some athleticism with it.